This is Camo Studio. Um, so something I was messing with yesterday, but I didn't quite realize how powerful it was until I sort of got into it. And then I was like, well, okay, we can, we can do some, <laughs> we can do some things here. So, um, we're doing things. So I've got, uh, this is right here, uh, the overhead shot. So you can see the iPads connected. Now, <clears throat> what I want to show you, I don't know if this thing is tracking. Is it tracking? Oh, it is tracking. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. So the Insta360 Link camera uh, still works. The tracking still works with the iPad. I may need to check the firmware on that, but um, yeah, it's working. I don't have access to all the software, which again, because we're running on an iPad, this is an Insta360 Link connected to my iPad using a hub. So let me just show you kind of like how the secret sauce, if you will. Actually, there's a few different things going on here. So let me just move this over and then we'll just take a look at what's happening here. So this is a pluggable hub, right? So this is my hub and uh, it's a pluggable USB-C hub. It's got um, the data connection here. You've got power incoming here. So I don't know if you can see that, but the iPad is charging. So it's charging. Um, we're in, it's got a micro SD and SD card slot and HDMI. Something I'll need to play with because I don't know what we can do there, but might be interesting. Um, so we got that going on. This is the cam link. It's a, not a 4K, it's just the 1080p cam link. That's actually this shot here. So this is that shot right there is my Sony ZV-1F camera. So it's top down shot. That's what's bringing in this. And, um, and, then, and then in Camo Studio, these are two separate like um, feeds. We'll, we'll get into that later. But uh, this is the Insta360 link. It's connected here. This is the uh, Shure MV7X. I've got it connected to an MVX2U, which is uh, the audio interface, which allows me to plug it in via USB-C. So the MV7X is an XLR dynamic microphone, uh, but we are plugging it in to an MVX2U as an interface, really small, compact, would be great for this setup anyways. This, the idea is that this is a totally kind of portable setup. So it does require some hardware, but this is the hub. Um, three USB, USB three, high speed. Uh, it's charging at the same time, so it keep power, which is important. Cam link, uh, audio, sure, MV7X with X2U, uh, and the Insta360 link, which for all intents and purposes is tracking, so that's pretty cool. Uh, lighting setup, I've got a couple of um, uh, Zhiyun lights, I believe they're, yeah, uh, Zhiyun, I believe so. Anyways, not talking about lighting, that's for a different show. So anyways, that's how everything's connected, right? So all these cables come in, which then going back to the app, the brains behind this whole thing, let me see if I can fix this light so it's not so distracting on the screen um, in terms of reflection. So what we've got <clears throat> right here, so this is the, and here, let's just go, let's see if we can make this bigger. Uh, let's just cover the whole thing. Actually, no, it's kind of weird. So let's just keep it over here. But that's like some of the power of this uh, app. So <clears throat> it's got a, all the controls are over here to the left. So you've got two different camera sources. <clears throat> one again is my primary camera, which is um, this one, which is the Insta360 Link camera. You could adjust uh, the location, do all kinds of interesting things here. But for, again, for demonstration purposes, there's just, that's the main camera. The second camera, secondary source is the picture in picture, which again is what I'm using as the, um, <clears throat> as the overhead shot. So to demonstrate what's happening in the video. So that's what's happening here. And what's cool is just the touch, the touch nature of this, like on a desktop, if you were doing this with Streamlabs or OBS or something like that, um, you'd, you know, be clicking around and stuff and it wouldn't be as, uh, visually it wouldn't be as cool. You know, like I've seen people drag their screens and you know, it slides over like this or slides, but this is like, you know, again, you can pinch to zoom stuff like that. You can move it like wherever you want it out of the way. Anyways, you do that kind of stuff all in real time. And this is recording locally. So you've got scene control down here. You've got stream panels, which if you were live streaming, you'd have all the information here. Um, and then again, just to wrap this up, cause again, I just wanted to sort of just put this out there in the world just so that people know this thing exists because honestly, this all started with me <clears throat> trying to figure out, um, other than, uh, FaceTime, uh, what 
uh, iOS 17, or not iOS, iPad OS 17, how you could use an external camera, if you could use an external camera with apps other than like FaceTime, because in the demos and iOS 17 and, and all that, you know, before it was actually publicly available, you could really only, you could plug in an external webcam, um, you know, like an Insta360 Link, for example, this camera, you could plug it in and it would work, but it would only work in FaceTime, like one app. So now developers are actually making use of it. And here it is in Camo Studio. Uh, and you have this dual two shot setup. Uh, you could change the shape of the size. You can change the audio in terms of the you know microphone that you want in here. Uh, resolution, I can't, I'm currently recording at 1080-30, but you could do 1080-60, 4K-30. You could do vertical 916, uh, or I try to configure it for Amazon, but you can't adjust the bit rate. So didn't really work there in terms of a streaming to Amazon, but, uh, and then you could do markup too, which is also interesting. So if I needed to um, just sort of, you know, paint on, um, I don't know, just sort of highlight something, I guess. Let's see if this works. Yeah, <clears throat> so if I needed to say, hey, look at uh, my other setup, my main desk setup over there, um, then I could point out something like that or my clock up there, which is an iPad. Um, or the microphone, for instance, that I'm talking to, the MVX, MV7X. So you could do stuff like that. You could draw on the screen um, and do markup in real time. Audio level adjustments, all kinds of stuff. So anyways, check it out. It's a totally free app. Um, again, I'm not familiar. I just found this app yesterday, which is why well, I'm excited to talk about it, but it's the Camo Studio app. Uh, it's available for iPad. Again, uh, you would need iPad OS 17 installed uh, minimally to be able to bring in external devices. But once you do, the app is available for free uh, as a download on iPad. Uh, I'm running an iPad Pro, uh, the 11 inch model, but this also works from what I understand on any USB-C uh, iPad. I don't think you can do it with Lightning, uh, but you can use, for instance, if you don't have any external hardware, um, you could still use the cameras on uh, the iPad. So if you wanna use the front facing camera or the back facing camera, on the iPad, those are available in the settings. You don't necessarily need to bring in uh, external hardware, but if you want to, you can. So anyways, again, quick look at the Camo Studio app. Um, I put up a video, we'll link it yesterday. It was kind of really rough. Um, this is hopefully a better, slightly better demo of how it works, um, but I'm really excited because I've been, all, I've been looking for a portable sort of like setup stream setup that you know i can demonstrate product do you know that's small it's compact i just need a couple of lights i don't need a full computer uh so the ipad is finally coming in clutch right so happy about that anyways if you found this useful in any particular way uh links are below description uh click that other nice button it looks like a subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the next one peace